Hello and welcome back to another Sims 3 build video. My name is Billy and if you've been here before, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Uh, please feel free to like, subscribe and stick around for more if this is what you enjoy. I do Sims 3 speed builds every fortnight and Sims 3 Supernatural Let's Play videos every week. Uh, so let's get into this week's build bit of a small one this week, uh, especially compared to last week. This is the Cheerful Cottage. It is on a 20 by 20 lot and it is one bedroom, one bathroom. So kind of out of the price range for a starter home, but kind of perfect for a sim who is just starting out their new life. Maybe a second generation sim. I don't know. Take some of the parents' money. Um, yeah, so this is a bit of a small one. I kind of wanted to get something out a little bit quicker. If you've watched the last video then you are fully aware that this is one of the three videos, the second of three in fact, that I uh, decided to smash out back to back and then also edit and do commentary for back to back. So <laughs> you are in for an interesting ride. Not really, we will be fine. Um, but yeah this one's super cute. I wanted something a bit brighter, I wanted something nice and cosy. This is very reminiscent of I would say my settler's cottage. I was absolutely inspired by the same style of house. Uh, this time with less of backyard, more of front yard. But yeah, there was one that I spotted that was super cute and so I wanted to do a similar style with those kind of angled out windows at the front. So yeah, I probably could have used a day window from the game but sometimes you just want that extra bit of like space um, on the actual footprint of the lot so I built my own but yeah it is a super cute little lot I love it and I actually got super into landscaping on this one I'll say so just really doing up those doors doing all the colouring I will also say I loved the colour of the wood I went for in this one. It was very much so a similar theme. Everything just feels like so soft and cosy in terms of the colour scheme in this build. And I think I initially thought I was going to go for like more of a <laughs> blue colour theme or like green. But as you'll see throughout this video it ended up very much so shifting <laughs> as I went through. Uh, very much so changed from what the exterior looks like which still stays as you'll see from the thumbnail still stays like a nice turquoise teal green blue whatever you want to call it but the inside definitely has a lot more of those pink tones um but i did try and keep some of the walls still with some of that more like turquoisey blue in it um it's really comes through more strongly in the furniture and that wood coloring i think that it's pink but yeah and yes i am slightly being distracted by the music i'm playing in my headphones right now as i mentioned in my last build video that i had created a playlist and decided to listen to it while i recorded i mean i like having something to keep my brain active but also my brain is just hearing it just enough that it wants to cling onto it. I also, I kind of like this little outdoor space where it's not a full deck, but it's like a cute little enclosed area with a little bench. Again, it's all inspired by the actual house. <laughs> As with a lot of my builds, everything's inspired by something I've seen somewhere. Whether it's a real estate listing, I saw it on sometimes Pinterest, sometimes I'll just google a theme and see what it comes up with. Other times it'll be an actual house I walk past or whatever else. Um, I think even sometimes there's like Airbnb ads <laughs> and I'll look at those and I'll be like okay that one's cute. I like the structure of it but oftentimes I am making up the inside of these so it's really just I take inspiration for the shell and then Unless it's a real estate listing, the inside is usually completely from scratch. And even if it is a real estate listing, no one gives you an exact floor plan, which I guess is smart, but also 
sometimes you just would like someone to give you an exact layout of the house so you can build it. Thank you. Instead of guessing how it all fits together. But it's fine, everything turns out pretty well. And in here, I it's actually not the biggest bedroom. I When I was building it, I almost expected it to be bigger, but once I got the bed placed in, I was like, oh, that's actually smaller than I expected. But I did still manage to do like a really nice big wardrobe. And I ended up recolouring all of the clothes in that to match the vibe through the house. But it's pretty cute. This sim um, is definitely a fashionista with a lot of hats. I think three more hats than I've ever owned. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I like this bed. I considered, I think, going for the full kind of fabric back and base bed, which I've used in other builds. But I liked having the wood on the base a lot more. Here's my dedicated entryway. As I mentioned in the last video, I've really started getting into having proper entryways and including, you know, like a nice umbrella holder, a key, a, a key holder, whatever you want to call it. I think the custom content's called a key bowl. Um, but yeah. I've just enjoyed having the aspect of it. I did also struggle a ton with the curtains in this build, and actually with a lot of builds recently. Um, I think I struggled with curtains in all three of the recent builds because I've got some that are counter height, but they don't always fit perfectly with all of the windows. And sometimes I just give up. It's too hard to make it work. The other thing is before I did this build specifically, so in between like the relaxation retreat and this one, I thought to myself, I don't have enough plants and flowers in my game. I am using the same things over and over and over and I need something fresh. So I went on a spree of downloading everything I could find, um, which happens to mostly be stuff from just uh, Marta Sims book, where the stuff I was already frequently using was coming from. <laughs> and it worked out well, I've got a much bigger variety. Now, will I actually use half of them? That's a different question because I'll have to figure out how to link them. If I do know in the next build, uh, which you don't know what it is yet and I'm not telling you, I did definitely use some of the new ones. As, as with this one, I used a few of the new ones, but I think in the one after this I was like going ham on using like some different collections that are slightly more inconvenient for me to link because the ones where you get like the split plant in the pot but they were cute they worked so I might try using them a bit more and accept that I'm just gonna have to track which of each I use and that's fine and yeah I am also trying to use more end tables in the living room is what I'll say uh, <laughs> having I mean I'm gonna admit in real life I don't have any tables in between my chairs I just have my coffee table but a lot of pe a lot of like builders and a lot of houses in real life do actually have extra tables and I know growing up we did as well because you don't want to put your drink on your coffee table when you're watching tv or having a chat you want it next to you um so I've been trying to do that a little bit more um as with the last build and this one so making it work but it is, it, it is funny because you'll see I change my habits very intentionally for like one build and then I'll go exactly right back to my usual tricks. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't necessarily stick for that long. Or they'll, it'll become a new habit and I'll end up doing it all the goddamn time until I realize I'm doing it too much. But yeah, I'm also trying to stay on my, um, on my towel mat for like the bathrooms. Also I've been loving these um I've been loving these herb pots from around the Sims 3. Uh they've been just really nice to use because I have got other ones um but they come in pieces and so I don't always like using them because 
similar with like the other plants that I talked about how I did try to start using them a bit more because they looked good um, and I went and downloaded some more of those styles of plants because I was desperate but I need to kind of suck it up and use them if I want to rather than worrying about you know might be a bit more of a pain to link because if it makes the build look good it makes the build look good also will say I've got this is I think due to lighting mod but sometimes when sometimes the lighting or it'll just like swap to nighttime and the lights will turn off it's kind of annoying and I'm building but I'm sorry for the random flashes of dark to light but nothing I can do about it um and sorry if you can hear my cats fighting in the background. I promise they're best friends. It's been a while since they've uh, caused this much chaos, but it's fine. If you're hearing growling, not a problem. Ignore it, please and thank you. Something I do like, ignoring the cats fighting. Um, again, swear they're best friends. They love each other. They just also love fighting. Um, I like the kind of very pink toned, like light brown velvet look for that headboard. I think usually I do grey for these because again you will have seen a similar headboard to this in like three builds including like the last one. Um, but I typically do it in grey mostly because my actual one and a lot of those style headboards I actually see in real life are grey but with that like nice pink tone almost not a caramel but it's just a really no it is caramel at this angle yeah kind of like caramel looking color velvet is so pretty and I went super bold with the curtains it went full pink I do love it like I can't help it I do I, I do love a good pink build it's pretty when you go full out on the colors and go bold it's also funny because it's those custom couches that actually solidified the fact that I was going for pink in this build because I couldn't be bothered changing the colors and I was like you know what I think this works <laughs> so that was how I accepted my fate and yeah I also loved that I didn't do a pure white for this marble or stone they match the range hood and everything it's just super cute I can't help it I love pink and I was one of those kids growing up who hated pink like their life depended on it pink is the absolute worst I said while also being a huge Avril Lavigne fan and loving the pink streaks in her hair but that was different it was hot pink and it was in her hair specifically girly pink is the devil and too girly i'm i'm not too girly yeah i was one of those girls and i am sorry <laughs> but it is what it is but i i can appreciate a solid uh, i can appreciate pink now i do like it i actually don't have that much pink in my house um, or anywhere. I think I use mainly like blue and turquoise still, but I can go for a good pink. Especially in The Sims 3. Um, but yeah. So I think we're almost coming to the end of it. I think now I'm at the landscaping portion of things, which is where it gets interesting. I kind of, this is well, if you ever wonder why I'm doing anything, it's probably because I saw it in the listing or on the actual property. I really liked doing the uh, hedges to where it kind of like shaped the path up to the house and made that front bit even more like private and enclosed. And so like the path kind of curves around. That was cute. I like that. And also doing something a bit more interesting by having a full cover with a roof over the parking space. Yeah, I will admit, um, I think I've been pretty lax on having a garage in my recent builds. Uh, and I think I got even more lax on having parking spaces in my latest build after this. I just realized there's no space for parking but you know what it's fine it doesn't matter <laughs> you can put one in if you need to um but yeah no I've not really been doing any carriages lately I just haven't been feeling like it and sometimes it's just there for the sake of it being there 
Um, yeah, so I put an enclosure and it looks kind of cute. But that's about as far as I went. Um, and yeah, I chose a custom tree because it looked really dainty and pretty and cute in this in front of this house. As usual, all custom content, expansion packs, stuff packs, store content will be linked down below in the description or in the linked Tumblr post. Uh, but yeah, just look dainty and cute. And then most, well, pretty much all the rest of the plants are just base game. Because I don't like using custom plants that much, with the exception of that one build I did. But we are well and truly coming to the end of this video, so I would like to say now, Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, stick around for more if this is what you enjoy. I do also have my Let's Play weekly and these build videos fortnightly. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.